Moving on now, and the average household spends $152 a week on groceries, and that could increase soon, with produce prices going up after the flooding in eastern states. But today, we're going to show you how to slash your food bill in half without compromising on flavour, variety or your health. <laughs> Weekend Sunrise nutritionist Sarah DiLorenzo is here. Sarah, okay. we gave you a task this yeah, week. Yeah, I love this. Tell us about this task and what your tips are to shopping on a budget. My absolute tips is you need to sit down before you go shopping and do a menu plan and write a list because if you don't do that, you'll end up spending more money and you can pick ingredients that you can use in multiple recipes, which is what I did. But it did, it was a lot of thought and it was really thinking out the menu and where I can put things in. But I did it and here I'm showcasing food for one person for five days, which cost $35. But I actually bought... So here it is. And you, she's here is the receipt. receipt. She's bought the receipt. So 68 bucks. So this is really for two people so this for is a week. The, uh, for two people for a week. If you double this, but I, I could only have enough room mm. to showcase it for one person. So, yeah, double that. And that was the receipt at $68. What have you got for Brecky? So what I did was I really wanted oats to be used in a multitude of my recipes. So I did overnight oats. Really easy to do. That baseline recipe is basically yogurt, milk and oats. So could overnight, but because it's my breakfast for five days in a row, I really didn't want to get bored. So one day I'm going to have berries, the next day I'll have some bananas, the next day I'll put some honey on there, the next day I'll put some peanut butter on there, and the next day I'll put some cinnamon on there. But there's my oats there, like wonderful for lowering cholesterol, really easy to do. And that's actually a great recipe for when you're in a rush in the morning. Yeah. You pull and it's it out delicious. In it's it delicious. It's delicious. so yum. Yes. Yeah. What about for lunch? So for lunch, what I did was, first of all, I got wraps because I did want to use wraps in other recipes. So I've got wraps here for, um, for one day where I've just done a tuna wrap. I've left it open so you can see with tomato and carrot. Now, I did buy carrot so I could sort of speckle it through some other recipes. Another one was egg. I did want to buy a dozen eggs so I could, again, use them in other recipes. I've done two fabulously delicious, super healthy bowls here. So I've got like a Mexican kind of style poke bowl with, uh, with some beans in there. Again, there's my grated carrot. Iceberg lettuce is two dollars each. I got a big one. And they're delicious. And that you they're buy them per really, iceberg. Yeah. So I thought, right, I'm, I'm finding the biggest <laughs> one. When they were ten dollars yeah. recently, about 10 bucks. Oh, yeah. they were eleven dollars seventy once. So I got the biggest one there because you just buy them per each per price. And so I could use that in other recipes. And then. For something a little bit different, I just did a cheese and um, veggie mite roll there. I got, for $2.50, I actually got six rolls, and here I've done a salmon poke bowl. So here's lunch for day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. So, yes. She <laughs> says that like it's so easy. This was no easy task. You actually had to sit down with a calculator for about an hour to work this correct. out, didn't you? Yeah. No, yeah. correct. No, I really did. Like, okay. I sat down and I went, no, scrap that. No, scrap that. Can't do that. Add that in. And then really, it was also Googling and looking what was on special and mm. working with what's in season as well and okay. always making sure that it's nutrient dense. At dinner. Okay, so for dinner here, spaghetti bolognese is great. I did get half a kilo of mint, which I worked out could for two people to be 125 grams per person. Again, there features my carrot. I got the pasta for a dollar. So spaghetti bolognese here. I also, with my with the leftover mints, I had enough to make a patty. But here's where my oats come back into it because I put oats through the mints to, to beef it out to make a patty. Salmon features again here with the oats to make the salmon cakes. There's my brown rice again, which I've used over from there. And then I bought, bought fresh broccoli there's my carrot again enough and I had six leg eggs <laughs> left over to make a frittata which was fabulous which has got broccoli tomato spinach little salad and my wraps feature again with this pizza my little tip with the pizza with with the meat topping is go to the deli and get what grams you want instead of buying a bigger portion and my tip with things like the crushed tomatoes look for ones that are infused with things like basil and garlic because you can save money there as well so you're yes. not buying the basil so not, separately correct and the or garlic, garlic separate. or whatever so there's those else little okay trip, little you've tips. used to wrap as a pizza base this I is did. like a culinary da vinci it's code. fabulous the secret is you put it in the oven first you put it in the oven first keep it in there for three to four minutes then take it out but I've also got some fabulous snacks as well to yeah. show you guys. So what I did again with my oats is I made these balls. Three ingredients. It's basically peanut butter, honey and oats mixed together. They are so delicious. Had a bit of money left over for some nuts to because we want to be healthy and get all of our antioxidant supports and omega-3 that I could sprinkle across. And then here, because as you know all too well, I'm obsessed with berries. I had berries left over from my morning as well as uh, my morning uh, 
and um, overnight oats and I also had yogurt left over so I could make a cute snack here of things like just berries and yogurt, one for each day of the week so I'm getting all of my antioxidant support and there you have it. Oh, well With done. With a bit that, of prep, yep. you can eat healthy, well done. save money. So that the viewers <laughs> don't have it. to agonise over the numbers like you have, we'll put all the recipes yes. up on yes. the website. Quantities. Yes, absolutely. That yeah. is a cute snack. It is that, a cute snack. A cute snack. <laughs> have you ever eaten a cute snack before? You I have. Don't know. Why no. don't you try this cute snack? Yeah, yeah we'll No, we'll seriously, try these. Try. Right. You have to have a mouthful. This, I might avail myself actually, of a couple of those delicious. cute snacks. I'm actually secretly really proud of that. Oh, they're delicious. As you should be. You should be loudly proud. I'm actually loudly well proud done, of Sarah. them. Yeah. Yeah, watch your Thank weekend you. sunrise here on 7 Our Top Stories this morning.